Six months after the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, scientists from the University of North Carolina in Wilmington, the federal government, Greenpeace and others are heading to the ocean floor, looking for any damage to delicate deep sea coral. We're about 80 miles off the coast of Mississippi in an area that we call Viosca Nall because it's named after an oil drilling lease block. We're working on deep sea coral banks that are about 425 meters or roughly 1,400 feet below us. Scientists are worried that the oil from the spill could damage the underwater ecosystem. We're approximately 35 to 40 miles from the BP oil uh, spill site, the Deepwater Horizon spill site, and uh, the oil that came from that well uh, actually went through this area, so this is an area that could have been impacted by the oil spill. These corals can take millions of years to form, and they serve a vital role in the health of the ocean. So far, at least in this area, the ocean floor seems fine. We have not seen any oil spill damage, any obvious oil spill damage. There's not uh, large patches of dead coral. The corals are not producing mucus. There's no signs of stress that we can see. You know where the ladder is? So they'll, they'll close the hatches. We'll lock ourselves in. They'll bolt us in from the outside. It is a high-tech, complicated procedure, launching the sub, getting it to the sea floor. Once there, a whole new world. We care about the health of the, of the whole ecosystem, and the reason for that is the ocean it drives the health of this planet, drives its weather, uh, drives its chemistry. The research on the Gulf floor goes on, protecting delicate deep sea landscapes from the ravages of oil. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.